All right, well, guys, we'll cast your vote in the Twitch chat. Who will take this man? Marvelous Marco or RM8? Mm. I don't know. I cast the range to really destroy Toon Link. And his combos are pretty overwhelming versus, you know, Toon Link's average disadvantage at best. But getting in on Toon Link can be really hard. Also, the way that Ike jumps, again, Toon Link can cover that with Boomerang. Yeah, that's the thing, too. Your objective as Toon Link is essentially is to keep Ike grounded and also respect Boomerang. So if he goes for a jump, he has to take that into consideration. The more grounded you have Ike, the less you have to worry about Nair. Oh, Goodbye. no, yeah. <laughs> The common, the common error, man. It's it's a, somebody trying to directional air dodge to the ledge, to have that invincibility still. And sometimes you're too far, or you're pulled a little too early. Yeah, I mean, he hit him out of his double jump with that nair, so he was just like trying to uh, get back. Nice. I like that, Marco. It seems like he knows when it's uh, safe to try to like challenge Ike for nearing into his shield. Yeah, I think that comes from a lot of like what we talked about Marco as a whole. He's one of those players that he will play without projectiles because it helps him out, right? If he has no chance to pull out projectiles when your opponent's in your shield, that means you need to learn how to play without them when you have no space for them. And now that Marco has space, he will toss bomb to uh, basically get himself back on the stage. There is a boomerang, no confirm there, but this is big because you know he's still at the ledge and RMA will get that dash attack. Yeah, he got the startup of his uh, boomerang too, so couldn't really avoid that. It's gonna be an up air? Yeah. And this is good too, because even with the platform, that was gonna be tough for Marco. Yeah. Honestly, I expected our mate to go for like a double up air with the platform assist. Kind of double one jump? of Ike's strengths on a stage like this. Yeah. And like I said, Marco's objective here is to keep Ike grounded as much as possible. So having a stage like Town and City is big enough to just move around Ike, but also take into consideration, okay, how do I stop Ike from moving? Oh. Speak of the devil, man. Ike is not going to stop moving. Gets the up air and the stock. 115 here on RM8. Marco looking for an opportunity here, using the boomerang to cover behind him. That's a forward throw. Set up here with another boomerang. No hero spin to finish that off. That would have been a great catch there on the quick draw. That's a punishable. Oh, it's a lot of percent already. And uh, Marco has good position on the stage right now too. Oh, there's that dash attack that our mate loves so much. Yeah, Marco looks like his main plan as I expected is just like try to catch RMA preemptively jumping in either with like a boomerang or aerial of his own and then try to go from there. Yeah. That's a back throw. Sets up for boomerang here. Nice. Able to jump over it so we can try to hit Ike. Both hits of Nair. Oh, barely avoids the dash attack again. Yeah, RMA, like he really relies on that dash attack. Oh, and that's good coverage too. Open. We're seeing Marco slowly going for bomb pulls here. Just a little bit more. That's good. Covers the shield against Ike. A little bit of shield damage. No, I'm a smash though, but that's still safe enough. Back they air are swinging. <laughs> I thought RMA was going to go for back air there, but I guess he felt that that wasn't enough, so he went for an up air. Stops the narrow approach. Like I said, Marco needs to keep this Ike grounded if he wants to win this one. Very scary situation for both players. It's high. Yeah, look at that. This Ready time, look. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Because now that he threw it upwards, I can't jump, so he had to go for a rollback. This gave Marco all the stage and all the control that we're seeing here right now. Yeah. Not enough on the first it. try, but it will be on the second one. Wow, I didn't think that he would have no time to shield after doing that smash attack. Marco definitely knew. <laughs> I would have died in that situation too. I call it hero spin. It's probably spin attack. <laughs> I'm used to calling. See, I, dude, yes, I told you someone would cry about it. I told you someone would cry about it. That's uh, why I said it's made attack. I knew someone would cry about it in Twitch chat. I told you, man. You can't win it's with Twitch attack. chat, man. You can't win with Twitch chat. I, I knew it. There's always that one guy, man. There is, there is always that Very one guy. Great. He's like, actually, we leave it's been on Spin Attack since 64, and Nintendo hasn't officially changed it. 
It's like, come on, bro. I'm sorry. You all it's know okay. what it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it's yeah, the yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the me uppy. Yeah, yeah. Get it. I think that's what it's called in the Zelda game too, though, right? Yeah, it is called Spin Attack in the Zelda game. It's only it only comes out in it only comes out in like the 2D Zelda games, and it's only usable once in Twilight Princess. Mm. I love Twilight Princess, by the way. It's my yeah. favorite one. Same. All right, well, we'll Breath of the Wild is really good too, though. Oh, agreed, agreed. Oh, oh, that's no, yeah. oh. too far up. Damn, that's actually rough. Because this is a really good stage for Marco. This is a very good stage for Marco. We saw how he was actually able to use it against Kiarash earlier in Winter's Quarters. This is going to be an up air. Oh, yeah. Man. And this is good, too, Dude. because he knows where Marco is going to go for every single time. So that up air will just be much more true catching the DI. Yeah. I think RMA is, is going very aggressive now. It's working out really well for him. Either way, though, thank you to Jaden Input for correcting me. I, pre I appreciate either way, man. Love you too, buddy. All right, let's get back Dude, to the matchup. I told matchup. you it was back. <laughs> I told you. He's a nice guy, man. He's just trying to help me out. Oh. Bomb? Oh, no. He he's fine. That could have been bad if it was, like, another character. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Z jump on the bomb there, trying to stop Ike in his tracks. Damn, that dash attack caught the Oh, again. no. Not enough on the height. Dang. I was surprised he couldn't make that back. Okay, this is a three stock to one game right now. <laughs> Marco is in a really bad spot. Even if he does get this stock, he still has his work cut out for him. Yeah. The, 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 trick, the trick here for Marco is to continuously understand that game plan. We talked about it in game one there. Establish control of the air with Boomerang and then force Ike to play the grounded game. We saw how much control Marco got that on the final stock against RM8. That goes to show how well Young Link, Toon Link, and even Link can play the matchup against this character. If Marco keeps that in mind at all times from, the, from here on out, he can make this comeback here, but it all depends on how he's able to execute it here. Once again, like I, I mean, said, cover the air, force Ike to stay grounded. Yeah, he's doing an amazing job right now. If he sniped that forward air, he actually might have killed him because he had no jump. Yeah. Marco slowly building this back up. He's got 48%, but he's got 77 on RM8. If he gets a spin attack Wait. or any other opportunity. Oh, I'm missing it. Yeah. Okay, Marco's got to watch the landing. Bomb to cover it, no down air. Using Zare. Yeah, that was a really well timed Zare. Marco has to watch. Oh no. That was good for him to go for air dodge, but unfortunately that's not enough. Okay. Marco looking to slowly find, climb his way back. Gets the cross up here with a roll. No confirm. He's got the he's got the air locked. Tries to go for an anti-air up air. Covers himself with the bomb. Great plays yet again, but unfortunately in the middle. I'm trying Ooh. to move through. Yeah, he caught him matching and caught pressing buttons there. I submit to no one. Yeah, nice stuff from our mate. He took the first stock very, very quickly. Just didn't let the lead drop any moment. <laughs> I think one thing Marco needs to do is angle the boomerang a little bit more. He normally throws it upwards, but if you angle boomerang, it it comes at a closer arc towards where if Ike is still on the ground, it forces shield pressure. But if he goes for a jump, it'll also enforce pressure on the air. So that's why you see characters like Young Link and Link specifically angle their boomerang on the ground just to understand like, hey, if he doesn't jump, shield pressure. If he jumps, pressure in the air. Still really good against... That's why you kind of want to see that more. I still respect it to Marco because there is a few times that he does go for boomerang in the air, sensing that he might catch... RMA in the double jump. I mean, I uh, get so much reward from his nair anyway, so like, there's very few times, even if you do continuously hit Ike out of that, like, there's very little reason for Ike to mix it up 
if anything, most of the time it will just be mixing up his timing of his like aerials, but you can still cover that with boomerang or even like a well timed foyer. It's gonna be a forward. Oh no, nice upper though, still. I think he might have gone for forward edge just so he can get Toon Link off the stage, get more stage control, take it from there. This is going to be an ether punish. No, goes for the grab and the continuous juggle with the platform extension as well. Marco's really looking for these uh, spin attacks out of shield to see if he can force like off stage. It's been yeah. really hard for him to get to work so far though. Aramis is holding shield on that. Goes high. Oh, nice to the platform with the quick draw. Marco's like, he's always has the boomerang angle though, just in case. Alright, mate, just decides to jump there. Yeah. Like I said, control the air. Nice. Calls up the lower recovery there on the quick draw. Gets the grab as a reward. Up air? No. Missing a swing with the forward air. I would have loved to have seen up air just because of how high Ike was originally, but that is going to be a spin attack that's going to be solid and knockback. Still to put Alright, off the stage and finally get the forward air. Marvelous Marco with the stock lead here. Yeah, good opportunity for Marco now. He died so early in the last game that he never got opportunity to play with the lead at all. But now that he has the lead, it's like so good for him. Especially in a matchup like this where Ike's just gonna keep trying to approach with Nair. He can just hang back and keep punching him. Yeah. Safely. Boomerang is a really great projectile for all the links. Honestly, it, it's, it adds good pressure, conditioning. It, it's it's even confirms into other aerials at certain distances and percents. Very predictable dash attack again. Yeah. He's uh, he really wants to catch him on the landing or a back roll away, but Marco mm. he's just holding shield every time. Yeah. And he's uh, he's, he's a dash attack. Yeah. Oh, up so string. Nice. That's a good percent. Getting forty with this lead right here would just be perfect for Marco. Yeah, bomb in so hand, gets a toss. Too. Yep. yep. Oh my gosh. Good too, because yep. he is not looking to overextend. I think at this point, Marco understands. I need to hold center stage, because look at how much advantage I have over Ike. Look at how much I can cover on Quick Draw. I like that for Mario yeah. Nick, though. He sees that, you know what, my time is out. Marco's got me covered. Let me get let me just lose my stock here, and I'll come back with a fresher mind in the next game as Marco moves on to set point 2-1. Yeah, I don't blame him for just giving up there. Yeah, I, I really don't blame him for giving up. Sometimes the real W is making sure that you keep your mind in check and don't lose that mental strength because a lot of players definitely will lose the mental battle. They'll just get frustrated and they'll keep going for attacks. We see even players in melee do this. It's fine sometimes. Like Yeah, yeah, don't, definitely. Just, just get to the next game. Like don't Exactly. Stress don't stress too much. You have a whole other game to, uh, to adapt. That's why there's a best of five here. Mm. Yeah, he he basically SD'd so we can get to the next game. Three, two, one, go. Mm, okay, FZ. I know I just like this stage just because uh, it's easier to trap landing, especially if they get a juggle going. But I never want to take care to like tune into a stage like this. Then again, RMA did really well on Kalos as well, so maybe he just really likes big stages with like. These dash attacks though, I don't know, Marcos hasn't gotten hit by a dash attack in a while. <laughs> Back throw here? This music is so inappropriate. <laughs> like, some of the music in Smash is great to play with, and some of it is just does not make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I just think this music is so funny because Ike's just chasing around too like across the stage. It's like this clown music is just really fitting. Oh! Damn, I thought you would up smash off of that. Huh? Oh he caught the No the bomb saved him! Wow. That was nice. Okay, big dash attack. Oh! Yep, to the ledge. Oh, Marco really wants that roll. 
The army is not giving it to him. Nice. Trying to find an air dodge here, but there's the bomb. Ooh. Nice, nice. Dash attack, just, just not working. <laughs> Rocco's just holding shield every time. Yeah. No back air yet for Young Link. For, sorry, Toon Link gets the down air. No confirm afterwards. Pretty committal move. Sometimes we do see Mark confirm that into another op opportunity. Just because of the knockback and an opponent's reaction to it as well. So far, Michael really doing a great job of controlling this stage with the projectiles. Yeah, uh, Army as he should. Locked in shield a lot. Okay, yeah. there it is. Finally, finally gets the dash attack on the landing. Oh, okay, good ether. Oh, scary position off stage. Margo trying to get a setup with the boomerang to the forward smash. Uh, Arm is not really falling for it just yet. Okay. Oh. That's a good combo there for Ike. Nice. Oh, that ether is so powerful, man. That was great. Yeah, that's really good for Armin to bring that all the way back. I'm sorry, it's just hearing hearing the Mario music is like <laughs> just throwing me off, man. I'm like, hold on. Oh Marco's struggling quite a bit here. No kill off the down there either. Okay. Uh, 85 is still really scary, but Toon Link's damage output is pretty good on Ike, at low percent especially. We'll see. We'll see how a patient RMA continues to play with the lead. If he does start to overextend to get in against uh, Toon Link, it can be pretty bad for him. Marco could bring this back pretty well. There's the ether again. Nice bomb recovery. Oh, nice, nice. Caught the landing again with the dash attack. That seems to be where that move is best at catching uh, Toon Link. Especially since uh, jump bomb pull is actually not super safe for uh, yeah. Toon Link. It's, it's really good to, like, we've seen RMA, we've actually seen a lot of Ikes just use dash attack to catch characters escaping or just feeling the pressure and going for a rollback. There's a lot of opportunities where just Ike dash attack is really good to capitalize on your opponent's defensive side when going for rolls or going for a laggy option to try to retreat. And in this case, like you said, Stry, it's like, you know, bomb jump. There's a lot of, like, frames in act, you know, that's going to be happening. Great. That was a great comeback from RMA. It looked really bad for him at this first half of that game. So now that's why we're at game five? Hmm. See, I'm curious what Marco has on the counter pick here. Oh, town? Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad for Marco. He has uh, he has all the space he needs to get these projectiles going. I say projectiles, but he just got like 80% without even using any projectiles at all. So far, uh, Arme is really struggling to get in. 
Oh, yeah. the neutral gonna get caught this time. Yeah, the slight charge too, just to make sure. Got the stock. Huge lead for Marco already. Yo, there's another OBI shield. Trying to see if we can snag that double jump with the forward air. But just barely missing. Nice, Marco gets out of the platform here. Looking to fight his way back towards center stage. He's got such a lead against Iron Mate. No reason to overextend himself or go for a poor move here. Good catch on the oh. dash attack here. Gets the hero spin and stage control yet again. Sets up with the bomb, down throw, and from the bomb wow. too as well. Good percent. Oh man, that was crazy sequence for Marco. Okay, he's fine to get hit there. Oh, never mind, he's not. He used that bomb throw too early. And then that allowed RMA to get the voider to punish. Okay, down throw is the up air. Oh, huge string already. Marco yeah. getting caught in some bad uh, jumps. Oh, okay. on the platform, oh. saving Marco from Ether too. Yeah. And he goes high with the Ether again. Or sorry, the quick draw. Up air. Nice. This time, RMA looking to just wait, oh. wait and see how Marco's gonna land. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's why he went for the dash attack. But well, Marco actually mixed up his landing really well. Yeah, boomerang, you should get extra damage. Like, Dang. Yeah. It's got a lot of knockback at the ledge at the final hit to stop it from the neutral get up, but also can potentially cover rolls and get up attacks. Yeah. Pretty underrated move, I would say. Even his uh, aerial spin attack is pretty good. Probably not as good as like the other two links, but it can still kill. Yeah. And definitely one of those up Bs that can pull you forward into the main hit. Oh, nice aerial mobility. Great drift there and saving the bomb on landing too. Marco's looking really good right now. Potentially can get this two stock. Our mate desperately trying to find his open to get the stock. Yep, he has the, oh, nice catch. Wow. Marco uses uh, double jump a little bit too early there. Oh, not the best of B. Oh, close. Goes high again. Yeah. All right, bomb toss here. Marco, Marco looking to cover the ground here. Gets grabbed. The boomerang was perfectly set up there to, to potentially break that grab. Big problem is, you know, RMA got the, the grab armor. Oh. Oh, I thought he was going to do narrow. I thought he was going to do narrow B. Ooh. Oh, Marco. Marco seeing. That R mate went for the the desperate greedy down there, put himself in a horrible position off stage, and then just punished perfectly with the spike of his own. That was really good timing on that.